Sean. Kyla just bought a house on Cape Cod. It's really nice. I know you were flying safe. I was just not comfortable. Sorry for causing such a fuss. They just keep accusing me. They don't care about the truth. They don't ask. Accountability, they say. Sean, I don't even know how that applies. I have to blame myself. There is no one else to answer the questions. Help me. Sean, they say we were too low. I know. I told them about the headwinds. Sean, I checked the manuals, and you are correct. They told us to fly at that speed. The charts don't lie. Sean, you were right. We did fly around the wildlife area. It was the wires, Sean. Pinky-sized wires. They were on the chart. Both charts. I missed them. I wish I had the Canadian chart. Who puts invisible wires over the water? I guess we do. They were ours. Who doesn't put a wire strike protection system on a new helicopter? I guess we don't. Sean, I always trusted you. I still trust you. You would have listened to anyone if they were really uncomfortable. I never second-guessed your ability to slide over the ridge or glide down that narrow creek bed in the back of Catlian Bay. The ones that spoke up with support are baffled. They can't believe my flight career could be over. Adam's son has not talked to me. I get that. Brett's wife had their baby girl. She's beautiful. I got to hold her. I was told my inactions killed them. Killed you. We met your family at the zoo in Providence last year. She pulled up in that new car with the third row of seats. She loves it. Kyla is the godmother to our third child. His middle name is Sean. Oh, Sean, don't worry about those wires. They took them down. There's a generator now. <laughs>